Hey guys, before we get into the episode here this week, I want to let you know about something we just launched over at SoyotronMedia.com. It's our very first Kickstarter. It's Steel City Startups. It's a magazine show we want to do. Go find out about it at SteelCitySTartups.com. Back it, tell your friends, and uh, stay tuned here at SoyotronMedia.com. Hey guys, welcome to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. You can find us at insertcointobegin.com. We're on the Twitter at insertcointb, Google+, Facebook, all the places that you want to be, and more. I'm Chachi Says. Joining me this week, we have Fuzz and Riz, both from Insert Coin to Begin and at their own respective Twitters, at Riz IUP and at FuzzWad, if you would like to follow them and have a conversation in 140 characters or less. Please, we like conversations. As Twitter does. Kids, you're tuning in for the first time. The way the show works is we have four questions. Count them four. First three, five minutes each. Last one, boss fight, anything goes. You guys ready? Sure. Yeah, whatever. I don't like your attitude. Just for that, we're starting with Fuzzy. Fuzzy. <sighs> yeah. As per usual, first question, five minutes. What are you playing, and did you play the challenge? I didn't play the challenge because I'm still only halfway through last week's episode. I got halfway through, and then something came up, and I walked out the door, and yet yeah, I actually haven't paused in another tab, so <laughs> I haven't played the challenge yet. Uh, I played a little bit of Forza this week, but the part of the problem was I couldn't take my Xbox on a cruise with me, you could, so you just I didn't, didn't get in much to. gaming this past week. All right. uh, yeah, I played some Forza. I finally unlocked the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, which was me just doing race after race to get two and a half million credits and then blow them all on one car. And apparently a friend of mine sent me a text earlier that he found a suspension modification calculator for Forza 4. So I'm going to play around with that. I'll be putting up a post later this week about that, see if it's worth anything. But yeah, that's it for me. All right, Rizzy. Yes. What did you what What are you playing? And did you play your challenge? Yes, and yes. Remember, you told me I had two challenges to do. I did. Did you do it? I did both at the same time. <laughs> I um, will put a bullet through my brain for one of them. But yes. <laughs> okay. Um, just a reminder. Uh, this week's gaming challenge was Bloody Trapland. You can play it at. <laughs> Or you can download it from bloodytrapland.com, at least a demo. And I gave Riz a personal challenge last week to listen to some dubstep because he was just making fun of it. It's it's still a piece of shit. It is not. You have to sit back and enjoy the noises. Yes, you do. Just well, stop. Here's the thing. He was it's listening like to Skrillex. Humping. Personally, I can't stand Skrillex. Put on some bass nectar or Pretty Lights. Uh, highly recommend Pretty Lights, the song Aiming at Your Head. Excellent song. And that's the kind of music that would be excellent for video games. I, all I did was start a Pandora dubstep channel. It's just called Dubstep. I love it. You don't look at it as music. You just look at it as artistically pieced together noises, and we're getting off topic. Yeah. It's for about what, something. What, Anyways. <laughs> what, anyway. what else are you playing, Rizzy? I am playing, uh, let's see, You Don't Know Jack again. And uh, I believe it was you... Or someone else, I forget who it was, who put me on the flow. Uh, it was it was uh, both AJ and I. Yeah, and by the way, both of you guys suck. <laughs> I did. have spent hours on that game. Yeah, that'll and, happen to you. And I also learned that they just, they just um, created the sequel to I Want to Be the Guy. So I think I'm probably going to play that in a little bit. I don't think I've heard of that, honestly. Uh, neither have I. Oh, uh, you need you need to play it. What's it on? It's on the computer. Oh. Is it uh, it's a free? Very, on? very, very hard adventure game. A free online game or pay? Um, I think it's I think it's pr pay. Okay. Uh, I think. Is about there it. a demo? Not sure. I want to be that. I want to be the guy. Want to be the guy. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have the guy behind the the uh, keys look it up for me. And that may be this week's challenge. Moving on. Um, I didn't play the challenge. Um, I just 
didn't feel like it. <laughs> I, I, there was no, honestly, there was no real reason why I didn't sit down to play the challenge. It just seemed like any time I was in front of a computer, I was generating content for the site. So, I, I mean, that's what I did. Um, I did, however, I played some... Uh, that's understandable. I played some uh, Kinect Star Wars some more of that. Um, I still can't dance for those keeping track. Still haven't seen video yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it didn't happen. I don't, I don't think you're going to. Um, anyhow, uh, still can't dance. Uh, still playing uh, Call of Duty. And I picked up uh, Fight Night Round 4. Uh, if you enjoy uh, boxing games, uh, this is the way to go. It, it is just uh, that good of a game. Um, I picked it up used for $16 at the uh, game exchange. Um, if you're in Pittsburgh or Ohio, um, they're around there. Uh, and I actually had to return it yesterday because the one the copy I picked up was damaged. Uh, but they're really cool with exchanges. So it's at the exchange. Yeah, so it worked out well. Um, all right, and Sorg, any uh, verdict on that game? I think I oh, you tweeted it? I have to open it up myself? Man. Alright, so let's go on to the next question. Favorite bonus game slash hidden gem game inside of a game? Did anybody catch that? Do I need to explain it? No. I'm going to anyhow. Um, what I'm talking oh, about... I... What, I'm, what I'm talking about is... Uh, you, you pick up a game... And uh, you do something, or you find something inside of the game, and it turns out to be like a little mini game that doesn't really count for anything, but it's fun to play. Oh, I um, it. crap! My my thing, uh, like my big example was going to be uh, I picked up Black Ops One for 360, and uh, there's the zombie, the zombie mode on there. And there's three different zombie levels that you can play. One of them's uh, just uh, this weird uh, transported back in time, like a uh, Nazi zombie killing thing. And then you have uh, uh, Kennedy as president and zombies take over. So you run around as Kennedy and Nixon killing zombies in the White House, which was amazingly fun because they put twist on... Uh, Famous Kennedy stains. And then, uh... The third was a top-down, 8-bit, kind of, uh... Oh, what's the game I'm looking for? Oh. And it's top-down, and you pick uh, different directions as to advance. And you, you just shoot zombies the whole time. But it, it, it's uh, kind of fun. Um, so that's what I'm going for. Uh, Fuzzy? Fuzzy. What, uh, uh, hey. what was your uh, favorite bonus game? Oh, the, um, in, I believe it was on, yeah, it was PlayStation 2 uh, with Test Drive. For the loading screen, they just put Pong there. Oh, nice. It sounds mm. completely simple, but it, it definitely kept the momentum and excitement going whenever you're playing two-player, whenever you're playing against someone, and while you're waiting... To try to run them off the road, you can try to beat them in pawn. <laughs> so it's kind of like a nonstop gaming experience, and it it's just dead simple, but it was fantastic. And yeah, as soon as I saw the question, that was the first thing that popped into my head. And hands down, I think that that was one of the best things that uh, whoever made Test Drive did. Okay. You can stick that in there. All right, Riz. I misread the question, so I just edited it back up to what I had before. Um, what I liked about Saints Row 3 was the, uh, Saints Row the Third was the Professor Genki, super ethical, uh, crap, I'm blanking on the rest of it, but it's a really long name, and it's pretty much you going around shooting random people dressed up in cartoons or, or costumes of some sort, like a giant hot dog, or... <laughs> or let's see, uh, like a mascot, and all the while, it in the background you hear like stuff you would hear from 
Ninja Warrior or something like that. Like the weird commentary from the announcers, mm-hmm. and I just I, brought up like, is it uh, Professor Gen- Genki's super ethical reality climax? Yes, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. That mystery voice you heard is none other than the mastermind behind the keys and sounds Sorg. <laughs> Hi, Sorg. It's not just some guy randomly chiming uh, in. Well, it kind of, it's kind of randomly chiming in, but yes, that I'm, is exactly I'm a fact what checker. it is. <laughs> I'm a fact checker. Um. All right, so uh, awesome. Uh, mine, I, I was always a fan of finding uh, the consoles that were hooked up inside inside of the safe houses in uh, the GTAs, because that would always be like asteroids or space invaders or brick breaker or something something along those lines. Um, and I always spent an obscene amount of time playing those. So, uh, yeah. Woo. I don't know where this question came from. Uh, um, it just magically showed up in the notes. Uh, but it's a, a genius, genius I think question. Fuzzy brought it up. Um, what, the, what, the supervisor one? Yeah. Yeah, I just uh, thought that up while I was out today. I figured I'd throw that in there. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, what video game character would make the most interesting supervisor in your current position? What? What video game character would make the most interesting boss in your current job? Uh, Rizzy? Max Payne. <laughs> because he would be pissed drunk <laughs> all the time. He'd be sleeping. It would be awesome. You get to do what you want there, and you still get paid. Wow. <laughs> you what? Can't, no, you can't really argue with that. You can't do that. You can't. <laughs> I mean, you're right. You're 100% correct on that. Um, okay. <laughs> Fuzzy? Uh, for me, there's, um, it's either Leonardo da Vinci in his role in Assassin's Creed or um, in the uh, upcoming Transformers Fall of Cybertron, uh, Wheeljack. <laughs> just because both of them are engineers that just tinker around and have their own little back room where they just just make weird things that no one knows about, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, hey, I have this amazing death ray that'll save us in against this giant, you know, robotic dinosaur attacking us. Like, those kind of things. <laughs> they just make those little side projects. And, you know, I'm an engineer. I want the guy to be my supervisor who makes weird little death traps on the side or, like, <laughs> just tinkers. So, that... Like, those would be my picks for the best supervisor. Just one of those just out-there-thinking engineers that just tinkers. And Da Vinci and Wheeljack both fit that very well. It, it, da Vinci always made me laugh, too. Because it would just randomly show up in the in the game, in the story. And be like, oh, I heard you're going to go take out these uh, fortresses. Well, I just happen to have this design for a cannon that'll help you. <laughs> Exactly. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> or, uh, oh, you have to get into this fortress that has thousands and thousands of guards. I just happen to have wings. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was you, always What do you think the, the new Assassin's Creed would be? The, it's gonna that. Be, I thought it was, uh, it's supposed to be Benjamin Franklin? Okay, no, I thought but, it was well, gonna be, yeah. Wait. Right. No, ben Franklin is going to have a completely different role because that was one of the things early on they said is that it's not going to be a rinse and repeat of here's your famous historical engineer. Uh, but that was uh, one of the things they said early on is he's not going to be like Da Vinci. He should be. <laughs> Man. This is true. Want Actually, they should just have zombie Da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want Franklin to show up with his 3D glasses and be like, oh, you got to go stare at this wall to find out what the heck they're talking about. Where go? So, uh, the, uh, Redcoats are now using, uh, 3D art on the side of buildings to hide messages. Gotcha. Of course they are. Thanks, Benny. Yeah. You're, you're a smart guy. <laughs> um, I, I work in IT, uh, so I deal with a lot of, uh, a lot of machines. <laughs> and I decided that the most interesting and probably the most screwed up game characters that I could think of to lead in my current job would be uh, Gladys or Wheatley from Portal 2. 
Wheatley's British. I know. Uh, I, I just think that, um, <laughs> number one, uh, Wheatley would make me laugh while being completely wrong all the time. Which would make for an entertaining uh, work day. Um, and Gladys would uh, try to kill me all day. Mm. Every day. Boy, like, here! Here's a new puzzle for you, Chief. Solve that before the end of the day, and you get to go home. So, and you never get to go home. I know. My paychecks would be awesome, though. <laughs> All that overtime. This my, is true. My dog would be upset. Be like, where have you been? I'm stuck at work, dog. Forever. I got a companion cube to keep me tr- <laughs> keep me safe. So. Yeah. He's not as furry, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um And now it is time for the boss fight. Dun, dun, dun. Um the boss fight is the time that we sp- or is the the question that we spend the most time on at the end of every episode. It is made to be the more in depth type of question. This week's uh I have to give a little backstory. This week, uh if you go to insert coin to begin uh, dot com. I put up a story where someone from uh, Kotaku uh, did a, a video saying that uh, Katamari wasn't what we thought Katamari was supposed to be. Like, instead of being this cute, adorable little guy rolling around collecting a whole bunch of stuff so he can move on, in actual reality, he was an evil guy who was stealing everything from all the planets and moving on. And it, it kind of it, it kind of put like this evil twist on what was a, a, a an otherwise harmless type story, and it just so happens that it later in the day, I I found another story that was like that. It was a, a it was a Pac Man video, a fan made Pac Man movie. However, in it, Pac Man is this giant furry beast that kills. I'm not kidding. I, I will. I will. Uh, this, is, this is true. He showed me it. I will get the link and I will send it to the Twitters. Um, but yeah, Pac Man is a giant furry beast that kills. Which puts this wicked, twisted, like, uh, evilness to what was otherwise a cute little adorable yoga. Eating, eating harmless dots and chasing evil ghosts. And uh, the 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 first video also put pointed out a uh, uh, Dorkley's video called Limbo with a flashlight. Uh, if you're unaware of what Limbo is, it's a uh, game. It's all dark. Uh, it's all shadows, and you have to make it through the world without dying. Uh, Limbo with a flashlight shows you what's really behind those shadows. So instead of a boulder running down a hill. That was really just a really big, delicious donut. Or instead of uh, a body hanging from a tree, it was a pinata, etc., etc. So everything's all bright and colorful. Uh, so this week's boss fight is what what games that are, are harmless could be flipped and made into something terrifying. Or, on the same line... Uh, what plot could you flip and have the game become something completely different? And I had to explain this to Riz when I when I mm-hmm. put the question in there. Um, and I came up with a great one myself at the time. But we're going to start with Rizzy on this one. Alright. Um, this is probably not surprising. You probably read this already. But uh, Mario is kind of a prick. And... I, th- I think he, you can twist it in any ways, but mine is, he is high on some sh- mushrooms, and Toad is his dealer. And you know why I know that? Because he's, he's done his growth. <laughs> he's so small. And also, he's a giant mushroom. But Princess Peach was never kidnapped. In fact, he was ru- she was running away from Mario, and... That's why she was never in any of the castles in the first game. Uh, Bowser, her bodyguard slash boyfriend, tries to tries his hardest to keep pr- pr- Princess Peach safe, only to fail each and every time. But in later games, Mario 
in his attempts to get Peach back, tr tries to take Bowser where it hurts the most. His siblings. He got, he, his children. You know, and millions of mushrooms died, were stomped and destroyed. And, and many turtles died with their shells off. And they, they watched as their kin gets gets their shell get, gets beaten with their own shells it's so sad uh the one so that sad. the one that i read was uh mario was actually just like a typical american uh discovered a new land and re wrecked havoc on it by trying to take it off take it over they started killing all the 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 people that live there and tried conquering their lands. Are you trying to tell me that Super Mario Bros. is Manifest Destiny? Yes. Much yes, better. yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right, Fuzzy. Okay. Um, Banjo-Kazooie. Kazooie's actually a bird dominatrix, and uh, uh, Banjo just happens to be one of Kazooie's clients. Unfortunately, Kazooie gets into a bad with uh, some bad drug deals with some shady people and just finds herself too deep and forces uh, Banjo as part of his uh, weekly routine uh, to go along to help finish off and resolve this drug deal gone bad. I, I'm noticing that there's a lot of drug themes. Yep. Yeah. It these... kind of, well, as, Why soon not? As, as soon as I saw that, the first thing that popped into my mind was who are we going to blame on drugs? And it it's funny because that's like the common theme for this because essentially anytime you want to make the good character bad, you just put him on drugs. I mean, that's exactly it. Look, look at Kazooie, that nice little bird that always just hung out in the backpack. No, on drugs. Lots of drugs. And she's a dominatrix. So, but yeah. But still, how does that... How... how Nuts and bolts. How do you explain that? Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. It's still a horrible game. But they drive <laughs> in it. So is that their getaway card? Yeah, probably. Uh -huh. you, you'd have to assume that it was. Right? Oh, yeah. I mean, you have to. I mean, it's a horrible game. Well, but... Once a drug addict is, gets in trouble, then it's hard for the drug, drug addict to stay out of trouble. So Exactly. I mean, and you have to think that this time they uh, are just driving away from the trouble or solving <laughs> problems that way. Don't do drugs and drive, kids. Bad idea. Uh, <laughs> the example that I, I created while uh, explaining this whole concept to uh, Riz, um, and there's a point in the chat room that we'll get to uh, as soon as I'm finished with this, um, was uh, Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Everyone assumes that Sonic... and It's not assumed. I mean, this is the story they tell you, but Sonic is rescuing... Uh, his animal friends from Dr. Robotnik, who, uh, yeah, it, who captures them to turn them into robots and whatnot. Correct? Correct. Okay. However, what if Dr. Robotnik wasn't the bad guy? What if Dr. Robotnik was using his little capsules to protect the animals because Sonic had rabies? <laughs> <laughs> So he's, so he's just running around the world trying to attack all these other animals and spread the disease. He didn't just have an attitude. Exactly. I mean, how do you, how do you think he turned blue? Right. Yeah. Sonic. Sonic wasn't saving the animals. Doctor Robotnik was saving the animals, stopping Sonic from uh, so, uh, stopping Sonic from spreading his disease. Actually, to take this one a step further, Sonic, you know, he's. He has all that enhanced speed ability. He was probably hanging out in the Mon, probably got something just mutated from that, and he was hanging out down there with Tails. Obviously, there's something wrong with Tails. He has two Tails. Exactly. He, he, he's contagious. Exactly. Too. I mean, what if uh, Sonic, Knuckles, Tails? I mean, honestly, what if they were all just m mutants or diseased? Oh, Knuckles is on ba bath salts. Hell yeah! <laughs> Climbing up walls? Come on. Why does Why does Doctor Robotnik have to be the bad one here? He put the animals in a safe container to protect them from the ones with the disease. He's Plus, if like I said before, if you remember in the later games, he gets called Egghead a lot. 
Exactly. That's 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 kind of mean. It, so <laughs> why? So yeah, Sonic's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> This turned from uh, from an actual point to just Sonic's a Sonic's dick. Sonic's a dick. That's all you need to know. Sonic's a dick. Um, and to the chat room, I uh, yeah, Matt it brought up the point that uh, uh, Braid actually did uh, a switch like that, where the whole way through the game you thought it was one way, but at the end it actually turned out to be the exact opposite. Um. The girl that you were trying to, to rescue actually was running away from you. Uh, I would say spoiler alert, but I have a 90-day policy on spoiler alerts, so you guys don't get that anymore. Don't don't shake your head and laugh at me. This is the thing. My 90-day policy on, on uh, spoilers is legit. If you haven't seen or played something within 90 days, then most likely you're not going to. Um... Other, and uh, Bobby brought up Mega Man. Uh, what if the Robot Masters were just helping the people? And Mega Man wanted to take away the technology and make everyone's life miserable. And I actually thought about Mega Man when I was typing this out. And yeah, that's the same thing I came up with. Um, Riz above hat. Yep. Uh, Sonic was hooked on rings. Don't do nuts and bolts either. Um, Bobby said root beer tapper. I'm going to go ahead and assume that that was from the uh, boss question. And he said that Blades of Steel had Jackal as a uh, a hidden hidden game. So, hmm. yeah. Yeah, uh, the root beer tapper was uh, <laughs> the uh, boss question. I, I can't you even... just want a whole bunch of root beer, don't you, Bobby? I, I can't even picture that. So what, instead of doing your current job, you have to serve root beer to customers who come in quickly and then leave and then catch the empty glasses before they hit the floor? Yeah, I don't get that. That, that changes the entire job situation. And makes it less convenient. Actually, you know, I just thought of, uh, I just thought of something else. What's that? Another uh, one of these lovely twists on video games. Mm -hmm. Diner Dash. That, <laughs> okay. That, that lovely little... Oh, make sure all the customers are happy. Attend to your tables. Yeah. Attentured, indentured servitude. And if you fail, they take you out back and uh, they're minus one bullet. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That is sick and twisted, sir. That's yeah. sick and twisted. Another one that I came up with was uh, Legend of Zelda. Why are you shaking your head? So turn your, really? turn your sound up. Turn, How can turn, you make turn, Legend of Zelda? Uh, well, okay. wh how do you know that uh, uh, Princess Zelda and her family aren't tyrant leaders? Like seriously, you don't. Know doesn't that. matter. She's hot. It doesn't make her a good person. But still, I mean, you just have to save her if she's hot. But I mean, what? What if they're not? What if they're tyrant leaders? And Ganon's actually. Uh, like a Robin Hood type guy here to save the people from evil. I mean, you're just a henchman from hire for hire, so I mean, you'll work for anyone, but it doesn't mean you're working for the right side. I mean, so the skeletons are good, right? Oh man, you use you use what you got. Because yes. I mean, look at how many times the guards change sides. Like, Link to the Past. As soon as the quote-unquote bad guy takes over, all the guards flip. You don't think they would do that that easily if they were uh, happy with their current work situation. Right? Right. Anyhow, Sorg, you got any? You got nothing. You have absolutely nothing to you contribute. You have nothing, Sorg. You have absolutely nothing to contribute. There's always Bob, Halo. Bob, yeah, uh, Halo's uh, Halo's the uh, the Mario Avatar type situation. Yeah, <laughs> well, the thing with Halo, looking at the broader story and not just necessarily Master Chief. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you know, everyone knows that. You know, you just shoot trash in space. Maybe, maybe the bad guys, maybe the Covenant are just 
you know, the covenant of environmentalists coming <laughs> to just say, hey, you might not want to keep shooting your crap into space. You know, it landed in our lawn last week. The, know, the covenant please, were... Please stop that. <laughs> the Covenant were a religious sect, so really it's kind of their Bible story. Oh. Yeah, and then, you know, you get Master Chief on bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> That's our second bath salts. Why does... It's either... It's either we're on... Everybody's on drugs. Let's just drugs, put it that way. Drugs or bath salts, ladies and gentlemen. I would just like to say, children, do not do drugs and or bath salts. They are bad for you, and you will... Rampage. You will bath bite... Salts. You will bite someone's face off. Rampage will make you destroy shit. Do you have anything else? No. Fuzzy. No. All right. <laughs> uh, Hot Wheels says he's on chicken. Don't do drugs, kids. No. That's why you don't do drugs. Then you say stuff like, I'm on chicken. This message is just bar- <laughs> <laughs> bar- you- coin to begin dot com. You have just enjoyed Insert Coin to Begin presents Let's Play. You can find us on InsertCoinToBegin.com where we post the daily gaming news for gamers by gamers. You can find us on Twitter at Insert Coin to Begin TV, Google Plus Insert Coin to Begin. We're on the Facebook. Yes, Sorgi. Oh, we Run forgot to out. do the challenge. Oh, challenge. Oh, man. What is the challenge this week? Oh, it is free. Is it free? I think so. Then what's... Uh, I think it's, so. It's uh, it, it, I Want to Be the Guy was the, the, what you were talking about yes. before. Yes, I was. Uh, the site is... Uh, oh, man. Uh, KN.Payoko.org. Uh, there's something like we'll that. We'll put a link on the site. Yeah, it'll be, yeah, uh, it'll it'll be just, on the site. Just, uh, just Google I Want to Be the Guy game, and it should come up. Okay, so that's this week's challenge. I Want to Be the Guy. Trust me, it's very, 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 very... Very freaking hard. Very hard. Very hard. So bonus bonus points if you beat it. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you can beat the game by if next, you can beat it in one week. If you can beat the game by next Tuesday. Uh, eight thirty. Eight o'clock. Yeah, by eight o'clock. I'll, I'll throw you eight hundred Microsoft bug. points. All right. Okay. Fair enough. I, I'll Sounds- put that out there. We'll throw it out there. First, first person, there. first person to uh, send us a tweet at insert coin TB with proof that they beat the game. Picks or GTFO. What's that? Picks or GTFO. Yeah, I want legitimate pictures. Or no, but uh, yeah, I'll throw you eight hundred Microsoft points. First person. So you can find us, insertcointobegin.com, uh, at Insert TV, Google+, Plus, Facebook, I'm Chachi Says, with Riz and Fuzzy, reminding you nerds to keep it nerding. We'll nerd you next week. Robot something. Half <laughs> salts. <laughs>